Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out. At this point, every 24 hours, we've got content going out. So make sure you subscribe and don't stay stuck with your coaching business. Now, if you want more help with your business and you want to talk with me, okay, there's two ways you can do that. The first one is visit the Calendly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call there where we jump on Zoom. I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're currently doing. Now, if you don't want to talk with me and you just want to send me an email, you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Uh, I respond to every coach that reaches out uh, to me. So let's get straight into today's video. Now, today's video, I want to talk about the three, five E's to success with clients. Okay, so on previous videos, you will find content that, that talks about how to structure your business, how to implement systems, how to charge clients, how to add more value. But today I want to talk about more how to, uh, well, what are the five E's you need to, to do to or to implement into your training sessions so they can become more engaging and also your clients want to come back every single week, okay? So these five E's are things that I, when I talk to coaches over Zoom or I send emails out to coaches that that, that reach out to me with, with specific questions, these are five things that I touch on, okay? So the first one is engage, which ultimately means engagement, making your sessions more engaging so that your clients want to come back and train with you. Okay, so when you engage with clients, it means that you are creating an environment that the, the, the client sees you as the expert, they see you as the specialist, and they want to learn. Now, the best way to do that is you relate your sessions to game situations. Right, now, these five E's I'm going to share with you all are all work in all sports. So if you're in baseball, if you're in basketball, if you're in soccer, if you're in football, if you're in lacrosse, whichever sport you're in and you work with clients one on one or in a small group environment, okay, you can use these five E's in your coaching sessions. Okay, so the first one is engagement, engage. And that pretty much means relating your all your, your sessions, your drills, your activities. So that is game realistic. Now, when clients come to you, they want a specific help and they want you to solve a specific problem. So if you can solve the problems that they're having in game situations and make your sessions realistic to the point where they, they can transfer what they learn with you into a game situation, okay, you're going to get more engagement from the clients. Okay, So for example, if you're, if you're in soccer and you're... Clients are struggling with their finishing or their striking. Okay, making your sessions uh, realistic and relatable so that they can relate that, that activity or that drill into, and they can implement it into their game situation will build engagement with you and the client. And they'll want to come back because they're seeing results on the weekend in their games. Right. The second one is empathize, all right? So, so be human with clients. This pretty much means being empathetic with the clients you're working with, right? A lot of coaches want to be sergeants. They want to be generals. They want to, uh, they want their clients to do whatever they say. Now, working with players in today's uh, times is very different. Diff it's very difficult to manage a group like that. And that's because... You know, the game has moved on. Uh, kids engage very differently with humans today than they did maybe 20 or 30 years ago. So being empathetic with them it essentially means instead of telling them what they have to do, ask them questions, right? Why do you think we're doing this? Or how can you relate this into a game situation? But also by being human, okay, this also touches on just asking them questions away from from the sport okay so how are they doing at school 
you know, what the relationships like with their with their uh, teachers, with their friends, right? Are they having any issues at home? Because what you have to remember is that, you know, the the athletes you work with, they're, they're humans after all. And if they have they if they're having any personal issues in their personal life, then that's going to have an effect on how they train with you. So being empathetic means just being human. Um, maybe during the sessions for 10 or 15 minutes, asking them a couple of questions. How's their week been? What did you do in the weekend? What did you do away from the sport? Okay, how's your homework going? How's school going? Right. Are you, you know, what do you want to be when you're older? Just asking them questions that have nothing to do with sport or training. So showing them that you're human, showing them that you care and just being empathetic with them uh, during your sessions. Right. The third one is enlighten them. OK, so enlighten essentially means enlight enlightenment it means keeping them engaged. OK, so it's very similar to the first one, but enlightening them means keeping them excited, wanting to come back. So the way I see it with with coaches is very in your sessions, so they aren't repetitive and they aren't boring. Now, a lot of coaches, what they like to do is they like to repeat sessions, which I find it's is fine. OK, but if you're repeating them over a long period of time, you're going to lose that engagement with your clients and essentially, right, they're going to find your sessions boring and they won't want to come back. So enlightening them means, you know, introducing different topics every single week with them and varying the session so that it's not the same every single week. It's not repetitive. It's not boring. And they're learning something new. OK, as humans, we all want to learn. OK, and we get excited when we learn something new or we do something new. You know, and your athletes are exactly the same. Your clients are the same. When they learn something new during your sessions, right, they're going to get more excited. They're going to get more motivated. They're going to build their confidence. And essentially, they'll go home and tell their parents as well. And that looks good on you because it shows that you're teaching them something that they don't know already, right? So you, you're enlightening them to what the, the possibilities are and how they can improve, okay, you know, during the sessions and how they can transfer that into a game environment. Now, the fourth one is enthuse, which essentially means enthusiasm. OK, so enthusiasm means giving 100 percent during your sessions so that your clients are staying motivated. They're staying excited. They want to come back to your sessions. Right. And they show that, well, they see that you care about them. Now, a problem I see a lot with mainly one-on-one -on -one, uh, trainers is that a lot of them are doing 30 to 40 sessions per week. And how that affects them is that by Sunday, right, they're probably, most of them are burnt out from the training. So when you become burnt out, it means that you don't want to do any more training during the week. And which means that when you get to the last day of the week, your sessions are going to be below standards, okay? And your effort and energy is going to be less because of the amount of training that you've done during that week. OK, so essentially what we teach our coaches in our program is how to transition from doing those 30 to 40 one on one sessions into doing groups where you're you're coaching less during the week. Right. And, you know, if you're coaching less during the week, you're more refreshed and you've got more energy when it does come to your coaching sessions. Okay, so enthusiasm, giving 100% your sessions will help your clients to stay more committed in your program. It, you know, they're gonna see your excitement. They're gonna see that you care about them. They're gonna see that you wanna, you want them to get better. And they, they will essentially wanna come back to your, your sessions. Right, and the fifth one, my number five, the fifth E, okay, it means empower. Right. So empower empowerment is essentially showing them how they are getting closer to their goals. A way of keeping humans empowered is showing them the, the growth they are making. Right. The improvements they're making. What coaches tend to do. And this is something that's very common in this industry, is that when they have the first session with their clients, they go over the goals that they want to achieve in the next three, six or, or 12 months. 
but they don't go back over them during that period of time. So essentially what it, what happens is the client doesn't know whether they are achieving their goals or they're not. Okay, So that's the responsibility of the trainer and the coach of going back, looking through those goals and showing their clients how they are achieving them or how they're getting closer to them. Because if you have a client that comes to you because they're not getting enough playing time uh, on the weekend with their teams, but then suddenly once they've started training with you, they're getting more confidence. They, they you know, they're building their self esteem. They're starting to build uh, their game technically, and that's mo that's transitioning into their, their their matches. You know, when they started with you, they were only getting ten minutes per game. Now they're getting. 20 25 or even 30 minutes shows an improvement as a result of your your training and coaching but you have to show them that they're getting better okay because if you show them that they're getting better you show them that they're, they're improving developing getting closer to the goals that we spoke about at the start of the program then it keeps them empowered it keeps them wanting to come back and essentially, it's something that they can then later uh, talk to to their mum or dad about. They can say, "Hi, hey, mum. Like, you know, I've I'm getting closer to my goals. Coach, uh, Coach Leo is is uh, showed me how I'm getting closer. What I need to do to get to the next level. And essentially, as parents, that's what parents want to see. They want to see a return on investment. If they're investing a lot of money into your training, they want to see results." And essentially, they want to see that their child is engaged with the sessions and that they're learning and developing uh, by themselves okay, and with you. OK, so if you need more help with this, right, this is something I work with coaches essentially on. Right. But if you want more, more help growing and scaling your business, take get into that next level. As I mentioned at the start of this video, there's two ways you can do that. The first way is schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, jump on Zoom and ask you a couple of uh, questions and show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. If you don't want to do that, send me uh, an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I respond to all coaches who reach out to me. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.